going to take the bonnet off today. Uh, the reason for doing that, I've got a crack here. And a little bit further up on the same side. Another gorgeous one along there. Uh, what I want to take a look at. Uh, I also want to clean the headlights up, which are all clouded over. Same on both sides. Uh, and we go through those processes today. This is the driver's side. And I want to start the process by removing four of these little captive bolts. Okay, so I'm just going to use a T25 spanner. Undo the lock, pop them somewhere safe. Uh, and I'm going to work all the way up on the top. When I've got the door open, I'm also going to remove this little rubber grommet. So five things to do on this side, shut the door and then I'm going to come on the outside. So I'm doing the drivers first, I don't have to, can do the passenger side, doesn't make any difference. But I'm going to work through these now. So this was held in with a south tapper, it's the wrong fitment, uh, it should be a little plastic cap it fits in there and then expands as it's pushed in. Uh, I've taken that out, I will replace it with the right fitting and then you can just a little tool something will ease that off. Be careful, keep your eye on it. I lost it, it's gone on the floor. That will just pop off and that will reveal one more. somewhere safe. Now I want to remove that one. Pop so, somewhere safe. Same process on the passenger side. Four bolts, one, two, three, four. This little rubber grommet needs to coming out. And then we've got an additional bolt that will secure the area that will come out. You need a, a T25 and a T30. So you use a T25 first, remove the four. Get rid of the catchet. is tiny and they are lost easily. Be warned. Now I'm going to shut the door, put them around to the side of the car. Now I've got the little rubber grommet off the side. This panel should, with encouragement, may have to twist it. The one that secures the area. Got a smaller T bar. Just located in this seam underneath here, so there's one, 
two, and the third one along there. And what we do is try to squeeze there, and you just try to press down and pull out. Now my clips are broken, so I think that's going to come. I think there's just one clip holding it on. All they are is this little press clip. And if you look on mine, these have been broken off uh, the bottom as well. This, yeah, find a new one if I can. So that's off. And looking around, you can see the frustrations of previous drivers where they've uh, had a go at trying to get this front grill off and the whole thing has just been pulled apart so snapped broken and that one as well uh, that one seems to be in good tap where the crack is uh, but yeah it, the earlier models just simply didn't have a, a, a bonnet as such so this whole front has got to come off we will get there Well, the person that owned this before me, or one of the previous owners, has used south tappers um, because the clips are probably broken. Oh, I've got some liquid. And I think that screw is so long, it's probably just gone into the radiator. Never ever I use screws around the radiator. Um, they're huge. Why? Oh dear. Oh, that looks expensive. Excuse me, I'm not going to just release the clips. It's free.
clip needs to come off. So you can see that, don't lose it. There. Well, it's now detached. Now I only have one on this side. So take a look on the other side. Let's move the bonnet onto some grass. Good mix. Starting to cure already, you can see the smoke coming off. It's curing that quickly. <laughs> 